All right, so um, I'm Zach. I'm one of the partners at Ghost Robot. Tell me who you are and how you know Ghost Robot. I am Andrea. I am the coordinator here at Ghost Robot. I work for this beautiful, amazing, hardworking company. It's been fun, it's been a ride, but it's been great. Awesome, awesome. So, real quick, where'd you grow up? Where, did, where, where are you from originally? I am originally from the DMV area, specifically um, the metropolitan area of Washington, D.C., but I specifically grew up in Maryland the most, like 30 minutes outside in Montgomery okay. County. Um, okay, cool. D.C. I grew up in a small town in Colorado, so that's okay. and moved to New York when I was like 18. When you're growing up, did you have a vision of what you wanted to do when you grew up? Yeah, I feel like I always, I think looking back, I always wanted to work in production and always like knew it. I was never a kid that played with toys or anything. Like I was watching TV all the time. And like by the time I started like going to like middle school and high school, like we would have like video production club. So I was always in video production clubs, like would stay after school and like edit the morning, the morning announcement videos and stuff like that. So like I've always known like that I wanted to work in production, didn't know exactly what to do what I wanted to do exactly until like I went to university and things like that mm-hmm. but yeah I always been like a production film person nice as you say that I was just gonna say I didn't really know that like movie or film production could be a career until I like actually got this first job that just sort of like a friend was making a movie and I got mm-hmm. an opportunity to go to to go work on it but as you were saying that I was like mm-hmm. you know actually I was always making animated shorts with G.I. Joe figures and, you know, mm-hmm. to- toys and then doing what I could in high school to get my hands on anything yeah. to try to ed- edit anything. So, so yeah, I hear you. The, the production bug was there. and uh, it, just, it just grew bigger and bigger as time went on and I started learning more things and meeting more people and stuff like that. So, for yeah. sure. If there was one thing that you could think like, hey, when I meet people, it would be great if they knew this about me. Mm-hmm. But it's not something you never like just lead with and say, hey, this is something about me. I wish people knew that like I'm so intrigued by like how people decide to like live their lives. Like Mm -hmm. I'm so I take people as they are not like I'm just I just want to know why you do things or why do you think this way or like how did you find this answer? Like I'm just super especially when it comes to like life things like Mm -hmm. I try really hard to like have my life together and like all aspects and like have it at peace and think about how to get better. Like I'm a very progressive thinker. Um, So like having all compartments and like talking to people and trying to get advice from them is like something that I always do. So like you're never oversharing to me. (laughs) You're never oversharing to me. So yeah. So you're like, so you want to take a peek at people's closets. Like how are they, how are they organized? Yeah. How are are they organized? What is How did you like set up your, your financial situation? Or like, I just like, I want to be the best that I can be. So just like pulling information from anybody and like, is something that I love to do all the time. And if people knew that about me, I'd probably be like the smartest person in the world. (laughs) Um, Did I see that you write about movies? Uh, Do you have a a movie blog? Yes, I do. I do have a movie blog. I've been writing since I would say college. Um, I didn't even know about it until I went to university and I had my film professor who I still keep in touch to to this day um he really showed me like how to like write about films and watch film analytically and I really enjoyed it so like after after I got graduated and it wasn't an assignment anymore I had to figure out <laughs> how I was like gonna like try to like keep up with it and things like that because I really enjoyed it so that's what made me start my blog which is called deeper in the moment where I look like deeper in the moment of certain aspects of films and culture and things like that and talk about the things that surround it. and then I try of course to like get published on other um, publications as well as much as I can so what's the what's the communication choice like I'm on a text chain I have like three different text groups on my mm-hmm. phone I've got the one that includes my siblings because I got an older brother younger brother younger sister mm-hmm. myself so we got one that's like mom's in that mm-hmm. my dad's not around anymore so that's mm-hmm. the like core family family and then I got one that's just my siblings so we can mm-hmm. talk trash about other things yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> what's your communication uh platform of choice with your siblings or your yeah. family uh yeah so we have like two separate chats we just have like the sibling chat and like the chat with everybody usually like the chat with everybody's like through a fa- through facebook because like everybody's mm. on facebook gotcha. so we just yep. like have like the facebook messenger we'll just mm-hmm. like talk to there and then like me and my siblings we have um 
a chat amongst ourselves and we went off sometimes of course but that's pretty much how like the chat is set up it's mm -hmm. best it's the best it's because you're such a foodie if you were on if you were served the death penalty and it's your last day and they give you the mm. meal of your request what would be your meal from appetizer beverage entree and dessert <sighs> that is a very tough one that's a very tough one the thing that leaps to my mind is I like tons of different kinds of food, but I do one. I love a perfectly done French roast chicken, mm. roast potatoes, green beans. So I think if I was like, you know, maybe I'll just go all in on that one. Mm -hmm. Start with a glass of wine, maybe start with that, you know, the roast chicken and the, that plate and then maybe a really light salad with vinaigrette after we'll go like your pan to the salad afterwards. Uh, and then, you know, maybe top that, just keep it all in the, all in the same vein and have like a, a super awesome creme brulee for dessert. Mm -hmm. Might, that might be, I don't know if I want to do that every night. Cause I love like no, this is, this is stuff, the, this but is that might be just like no. <laughs> yeah, the last one. That might be it. That might be it. Um, I would say, what is your favorite playlist on your phone? I've been really bad in the last couple of years of maintaining playlists on my phone even to the point where you know one of my questions i was going to ask you but i'm going to i'll ask i'll ask just ask myself which is what is your what's your music platform of choice and i've tried to shift away from spotify because my mm -hmm. algorithms were just getting destroyed and so i feel like i was never hearing good music mm -hmm. so i'm like i'm going to switch to apple music and it's clean nobody else in my family's listening on it nobody's using it there's no pollution of like what it is i'll start from scratch mm -hmm. but somehow it just like reset recently and i lost all of the playlists that i had created oh. <laughs> but <laughs> um but that being said i have i would say and it's true of the last couple of years I probably returned to mm. a sort of like super low grade, pretty mediocre, semi techno music, okay. pretty frequently, and like one of those stage, one of those playlists would be like seated by like Bonobo, the DJ. Mm. Um, it was pretty funny. I was, I don't know if you've met Joey Garfield, one of the directors mm. that we work with. Joey's awesome and hilarious. We were doing a shoot one time and I'm pretty sure as a straight up diss to my music um, selections that I was playing in the van on the ride <laughs> to the shoot, he accused me of playing the, um, the Rainforest Cafe soundtrack. Mm. <laughs> so I think you can envision <laughs> that was, I was like, ooh tough one man tough one so um i do listen to a lot of bad music <laughs> excellent andrea thanks for joining me this afternoon and we will um talk again soon. all right no problem thank you for all having right me. yeah we'll talk soon take it easy bye, bye.